Hi students, today I want to talk to you about creating art using something called synthesis. And synthesis is when you use your critical and creative thinking skills. It's when you take something that you already know and you add it to something else that you might already know and you create something brand new from those things. So I'm going to show you how to create a drawing using synthesis and I'm going to show you by showing some of my sketches in my own sketchbook. This is an image that I drew for a book my sister and I wrote called Zood. And this little guy here, his name is Treefoot. And you do see two images because you're seeing on the left-hand side the pre-sketch or rough sketch, and then on the right-hand side what it looks like when I put it in the computer and cleaned it up a little bit. Now, Treefoot is a combination of two things. Treefoot is a combination of a little miniature Bigfoot and trees. He's got trees for feet. So that's what I mean by synthesis. I'm taking two things, I'm putting them together, I'm creating something completely new. This is another illustration for a book called Stowaways, and you can see it's a work in progress. On the left hand side is the first sketch, and on the right hand side is the uh, sketch with a little bit of value added, but it's not finished yet, and that's okay. You can see I've mashed up a shark and an octopus, a shark body, eight octopus arms, and then at the end of each octopus arm, there's a little tiny shark head. So my mashup or my synthesis is a shark and an octopus, an octo shark. I'm going to show you an example of how you can make a drawing where you take two things and you squish them together, kind of like a mashup. So I'm going to draw my sketchbook. I'm going to draw pretty fast and I might even speed it up. So don't draw along with me. This is just for viewing. Just watch me do it and then when I'm done, you're going to create your very own thing. Okay, on the right hand side you see a drawing of a patus monkey and that drawing took many hours to do. It's got a lot of detail, a lot of texture. It's a very clean neat and finished drawing. I am not doing that on the left hand side. I'm going to move pretty fast over here just so you can kind of get an idea of how to do this and it won't look as neat or as tidy but just know that. And when you do your drawing you can draw realistically kind of like I am here or you may choose to draw more like a cartoon or a little bit more towards the abstract and that's fine too because you get to use your own artist's voice. You know how when a person sings they have their own style and their own voice? Well artists have their own style and their own voice too and they express themselves visually. So this little drawing here on the right was for the book Zood as well, kind of like the drawing that was up above of Treefoot. Now the Octo Shark, that's for a different book. I can talk about that at another time. And as I'm drawing the Patus Monkey, the Colonel is his name, as I'm drawing the Colonel, um, I'm adding a little bit of texture and having a lot of fun with that, moving along, and I am thinking, what kind of animal do I want to draw with the Colonel? I want to add a different animal. I want to do a mashup. I want to do a synthesis using my critical thinking skills. And I'm looking at the colonel's shoulders, and to me, they look a little bit like a cobra snake, like when a cobra flexes its neck. So I'm going to make the colonel into a little cobra. When you're drawing your animal, you may need to take a peek at what an animal looks like before you draw it. I'm the type of artist that I like to see what I'm looking at to draw. Some people can draw right out of their head and that's lovely and wonderful. I don't particularly have that skill and you may or may not have it so you might need to go and look on the internet first and find something fun to draw so you can see it and then figure out how to combine it with a second or third thing. Um, and by the way, you don't have to draw two animals together. Maybe you want to mash up a couple of modes of transportation or an animal in a mode of transportation. I wonder what a cheetah car would look like or a hot air balloon penguin. Who knows? It's up to you. Now it's your turn. What will you create using synthesis?